If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and you want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment down below what you would like to learn more about. We will Hi, Photos subscribers. Or maybe you're not a subscriber. We would appreciate your subscription. Um, let's get into contrast today. What is low contrast? We talked a little bit about contrast in our video of high contrast, but contrast is just something that simply is standing out. It is in the same context as everything else in your camera, but it is distinct and individual. Um, so low contrast would be something which has enough contrast to set it apart, um, but it, it still blends into its surroundings. Typically, you want your props and other things that you image in connection to your um, portrait client or the product that you're imaging. That's going to be your low contrast kind of thing. But if you want to shoot a product in low contrast, uh, say something like... Um, uh, something that's supposed to be camouflaged. Uh, maybe it's a mossy oak kind of product or jacket or you want to have that kind of idea. You camouflage one part of your client but the other part is is visible. Um, that would be a low contrast to where you're camouflaging their say like the their shoulders and the upper torso with the jacket. Um, but the the thing that we want to discuss here is not the camouflaging necessarily. We want to discuss the low contrast of photography side. And um, so contrast primarily is the setting and how the shot is designed and the camera is looking at your subject or your object. But it also has to do with the lighting quality. The, the quote, flatter your lighting, the less contrast you have. Um, it's it's about showing off the subject and so really low contrast isn't ever something that we really strive for um except for some very odd circumstances and, and situations where maybe it's it's more like a, a fashion kind of uh thing but you want to reduce the shadows associated with your image so that you're for instance i, I just threw a shadow across me because of the reflector down here in the lower portion of your video viewing screen but you want to reduce those shadows, but you also want to reduce the uh, reflection or the highlights of your lights against your subject or your object. Um, I am, even though the edges of my hair and shoulders are kind of blending into my background a little bit, that's, that's a low contrast situation, but my face is very much contrasted. And so that's kind of why it, you're going, whoa, that's, that's different. Um, Thankfully, it's not as contracted, contrasted as some of the videos we have up of recent weeks. But the um, edges of your object um, should still be seen just from the making sense to your viewer, if that makes sense. But... Part, that's part of how we recognize things it quickly at a glance is the shape of something kind of gives us a, a visual of whether it's a flower vase or it's a, a phone or if it's uh, a product that's to be held in your hand or worn and those kind of things. So the edges are important, but with low contrast, you're not going to see the shadow of it. Um, it may be set on a surface, a tabletop surface, but you're not going to... Uh, see the surface necessarily the the object won't be reflecting in the surface it's going to appear almost as if the item is floating even though it's not um, but that's really the key to flat lighting or low contrast is that there is no shadow maybe the the if the truth of no shadow won't ever really be achieved but it'll be flat enough that there's no discernible, noticeable shadow in the frame of the image. Some of these um, low contrast um, shots may be shot of glasses or something like that sitting on a tabletop, but it's not um, showing the bottom where that, that glass actually sits on the tabletop, if that makes sense. Um, so 
you you give some edge definition to the glass but you're focused more on perhaps what is inside the glass whether it's a specific uh, product like ice cubes or or something specialized or maybe it's the the drink inside the glass that would be something that you're trying to bring out the definition of um, so the low contrast is you're reducing shadow you're you're showing some edge but not as refined as if it were a higher contrast uh, image so but everything in frame would be uh, the same color so you're trying to match the object that you're imaging and the background it's on um, your your props anything you add into the shot is going to be similar if not the same color um, to what you're imaging and that itself is going to really take the the feel and the look of your image and make it something much different than a lot of other things because we have a lot of contrasting things but it's a very different um, color situation lighting sh shaded shadow uh, orientation so everything is highly contrasted number one primarily guess what the lighting source it's direct and it's bright the Sun is now cloud cover creates a diffusion of that light and it's not as direct and sh uh, sharp on on that uh, vein of, of contrast but it's is very much to the point of the same item that we're discussing here of contrast is that it's it's showing us the uh, even sometimes on cloudy days the light is intense enough to give some shadow but it's a softened shadow so I hope that content has brought value to your photography and gives you something to think about as you shoot for uh, low contrast items or maybe it helps you identify what images you've taken are low contrast and helps you uh, figure out some of the best things to do and change to give more contrast in your photographs. Thank you so much for watching. If this content really has added value to your photography, we would appreciate a like on the video and comment down below what has, has helped you understand or uh, changed in your thought process of how you shoot images. If you're not yet a subscriber, we would appreciate your subscription. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.